What's going on and welcome on to the channel. You guys know Mad Scientist running the data for you so that way you have all of these categories. I'm going to break them all down. Lie angle, wind, not elevation, um, penalties, lie penalties, so on and so forth. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This video is going to be all about wind. I have covered it on a live stream but I wanted to make a shorter video for people who are purely searching for how to calculate the wind in this game. So let me Go through all of the characteristics just so I know a whole bunch of people are going to say your numbers are whatever because they all think they're right. Let me give you the exact science on why I do it this way and why these numbers are accurate. So first off, this is a creative course that I always, I always build. And what I do, you can do it yourself if you really want to test it out. You just go to any build. You click landscaping tools. You go to landscape flatten. Take a giant area like this make it massive, and then flatten the entire area. Why am I doing this? Because if you flatten the entire area, what that does is it's going to allow you to have no other factors into it. You're not gonna have a lie angle penalty. You're not gonna have any sort of rough penalties. I've cleared the entire course out. It's a completely flat ground. The only things that will matter are what I have set in this game. And what I have set in this game is I have the wind speed currently on medium. And I'm going to give you guys some examples of the data that I previously ran. It's not going to be a very long video. But I also want to cover the settings. And a lot of people are going to probably look at the meter and be like, why are your settings like that? It's so easy. Well, the reason why you do it is because you take out the unknown variables. Swing difficulty is on beginner. And that's because I want the biggest white section so that way I don't have any fast or slow swings because that will affect my distance. The second thing I do is I turn off swing timing. I do not want hook slice affecting distance. I do not want fast slow affecting distance. I want the ball to go as straight as possible and I want it to go as far as it's supposed to go possible. So that's the parameters on how I set up these experiments. Uh, at least for the wind one, the elevation one, I'll cover it when I do the elevation video. But let me go through this and pretty much I'll run the numbers and I'll keep them up on the board as I run these examples. Essentially, anything that is from 11 miles, 0 miles an hour to 11 miles an hour, it is one for one. So if you look up here on the right, it, it'll be one, one yard per one mile per hour. And you'll see here I got a 10 mile an hour wind. It's not directly in my face, but it's pretty much in my face. So this is my club right now is 181 yards. So if I hit this dead straight into a 10 mile an hour wind, it should land just about 171 yards. 101% it might land a yard or two more. I'm not perfect, I'm not a robot. 170, it landed 170. So I'm not a perfect robot, but at the same time, this is, I, I've, I've done on live stream, I did a handful off live stream, I've done hundreds of these tests and you can pretty much, it doesn't matter what club you're using, anything under 11 miles per hour. So this one is a 170 yard club. So it should go somewhere around 160. 100% should land about 160. 158. So the wind's a little bit hurting, give or take a yard but it's pretty much right on it. You're essentially maybe 1.05 1, 1 for every mile per hour, but I can check, this one's 191. We can go to a different club, hit 100% again. This club was 191, so it should land somewhere around 181. It landed 179. So these are obviously, it's give or take a yard or two. This is not an exact science. The wind is much different than it was in 2K21, and I'll cover exactly why it's much different now that I'm going into a higher wind. So a higher wind in 2K21, until it got to about 17 miles an hour, it was still a one-for-one one wind. But now, anything between 11 miles an hour and... 18 miles an hour is about 1.3 yards for every one yard. And I know you're like, well, I'm the, how am I going to calculate all that out? Quick example, if it's 14 miles an hour, it should be about a 20 mile an hour wind. Essentially, add, I would say add five, add five to whatever the mile per hour is between 11 and 18. 
12 miles an hour on a 181 should be about 15 yards. So that should be about 166, which is exactly what it just hit. One sixty six. All right, I got a thirteen mile an hour wind, so this should be about seventeen yards. So give or take four or five yards added to it, seventeen yards to one seventy is going to be one fifty three. Hundred percent. One fifty four. I, like I said, I'm not an exact robot, give or take. The wind is going to mess with you a little bit, but it should be, you should add one for one between 11 miles an hour, or I'll say 12 miles an hour because 11 is a one for one, but between 12 miles an hour and 18 miles an hour, add one for one and then add about four to five more, and that will help you out. I'll do, uh, let's see if I, I'll go to the high wind next and then I can come back in. So let's go to the high wind from, if you're playing in a high wind, anything over 18 miles an hour is one and a half yards per. So this is 20 miles per hour. So instead of adding four to five, you're going to want to add nine to 10. So this 19 mile an hour wind should be somewhere around 30 extra yards. So I'm hitting into 170. Now it went up to 20. So I should be about 30, 31 yards. So I should be about 140 yard shot, 141 yard shot. 100% swing. And we're looking for like 140, 141. I landed 139. Oh, it, it just kicked up to 21 miles per hour mid-flight. Uh, let's uh, rewind that shot and we'll do some more. Just to, I'm trying to give you guys examples to show you that these numbers are legitimate and that I'm not just making this stuff up. So 20 miles an hour, 31. So we're looking at 140, 141. Wait, this is a 181 swing. 181 swing, so this is going 30 yards. So we're looking at 150, 151 here. And you watch the bottom right, 151. So I'm, I'm going to leave this up here on the top right, and I'll, I'll go back to the medium because I know that kind of messed up a little bit. <clears throat> See if I can get a 14 mile, 13 mile an hour wind. So I'm going to go 13 miles an hour, and then I'm going to add four extra. So it should be about 17, 18 yards. So that should be about 153. 153-152. Doesn't matter what club you're hitting with, they're all the same. One fifty two. So that's the wind video. Different than last year. Last year was anything under about sixteen miles per hour was a one for one. Now anything under eleven miles per hour is a one for one. Anything under one point uh, anything between 12 and 18 miles an hour, it's about 1.25, 1.3. So how you calculate that is go one for one and then add four or five extra. Anything over 18 miles an hour, go one for one and then add nine to 10 extra from the one for one. Those are quick numbers that you can calculate in so that way you can hit as close as possible. And obviously nothing is an exact science, but I hope this video got, helped you guys and uh, let me know if you have any questions, any other videos you guys need. Stay tuned for more data coming your way.